What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here and I am back with another Nendroid unboxing slash review for Yami Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh. If you don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is, then honestly, I don't know what to tell you, I can't help you, but Yu-Gi-Oh is this really famous card game and it's really famous, well not too too famous now, but it's a nostalgic uh, card playing anime basically where Yami Yugi is the main character, well technically Yugi is the main character and Yami Yugi, you know, comes out to do with them. But if, if you want to see more of that, if you want to know more about that, go ahead and watch the anime because I feel like... Well, I don't know if it can hold up compared to now. But go ahead and watch the anime if you want to see more about that. But before we get into the Nendoroid unboxing slash review, I got to give a shout out to my Patreon pledges for going ahead and financially supporting the channel and the boy myself for helping this YouTube dream become a career for me. And I got to say thank y'all and I highly appreciate what y'all are doing for me. Secondly, I got to give a shout out to Nodi Gang and my returning viewers slash subscribers for all the love and support y'all give me. And I got to say shout out to the new viewers and new subscribers as well. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe button, hit the post notification bell, and I need everybody to go ahead and hit this video with a like right now. That way I know that you guys would like this and you guys help me grow within the YouTube algorithm in ways that I don't know. And lastly, guys, I need you to follow me on all my other social media platforms, especially if you want to hit me up outside of YouTube, just like Instagram or Discord and things like that. Also, if you want to pledge to the Patreon, the link will be in the description. And if you want some Dark Sage merch, go ahead and look at the Teespring link in the description down below. Everything that I just explained will be in the description down below so let's go ahead and get into this yami yugi now this bad boy i got it from gamestop and my boy jerry told me that they was having a sale so i had to pick it up and it was a good 18 dollars. it retails usually as i'm looking at this right now for 59.99 now look i love Yu Gi Oh like the next guy but i'm not paying 59.99 for a Yu Gi Oh figure <laughs> but i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know that i do like Yu Gi Oh. i'm not super super in love with it but i do like the series and i was watching it back when i was growing up and i still have my Yu Gi Oh cards actually somewhere in this room somewhere but you guys know that I like Yu-Gi-Oh, especially with the Funko Pops that I have probably somewhere behind me. I don't know where they're at, but I do like Yu-Gi-Oh, and I definitely think it's an Android, but I didn't want to pay $60 for a Yu-Gi-Oh Nendroid. Now, I'll pay $60 for like a JoJo Nendroid or an anime like I really like, but not $60 for this, but getting this bad boy for $20, I gotta say, is a pretty good deal, so let's go ahead and unbox and review this bad boy right now. All right, guys, now it's time to review and unbox this bad boy. Now, as usual, guys, with these reviews, I go. let me go ahead and show you all sides of the box right here. Right here, you got Yu-Gi-Oh! and Good Smile. You got the trademark Good Smile Company, which is the company that makes uh, Nendoroids right here. You also have their logo right here as well, the Nendoroid series, because that's what this is. This is number 1,069. <laughs> 69. But let me go ahead and show you this side of the box, the back of the box, this other side of the box, the top of the box, and the bottom of the box, where we will be getting, or where we'll be opening this from, I believe. And um, I did, like I said before earlier in the video, I got this from GameStop, and for a good price too, 18 something with like five, six dollars shipping, but that was a pretty good price, but let's go ahead and uh, look at this bad boy. Also, one thing that I do gotta say that I usually say on my Nendoroid uh, reviews, I always like this little background color usually that they have, but what I wish this one right here was purple, just like the size, that way it matches. I mean, I'm not keeping it in the box, I'm not displaying the box, but that's just something I would like, but let's go ahead and look at the detailing in this box obviously we got our little uh manual that we got that's at the bottom of this but we're not using that we're gonna use creativity to pose this bad boy <clears throat> i like we're gonna use the box <laughs> to pose this bad boy let's go ahead and look at all the accessories right here i think this is super dope right here you got yugi and in fact let's go ahead and take them out so that way we can really see the accessories but as you usually get with your dendroids right here you get the character itself and all the other accessories that go around it you get some face plates uh fingers that we could take these take oh my lord like I was saying earlier, you got this hand right here. You got this hand as well with some cards in it. And you got this hand with only one card looking like he's about to say uh, for the heart of the cards right here. We got that boy's Millennium Puzzle. And you know this is like 24 karat gold, just like uh, Bruno Mars' song. And we got the dual disc right here. So obviously this is probably from uh, Duelist Kingdom, I believe. Right here, uh, the base stand, which all Nendroids come with a base. The base stand is actually attached to the bottom of the box right here. And right here you usually get your extra neck joint you get the part that connects into the nendroid itself and into the base you get the base so let's go ahead and look at this yami yugi right here and guys if you do not know i also collect the funko pops for Yu-Gi-Oh because i love Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Gi -Oh is an anime i definitely grew up with and right here you just gotta take this plastic off that way you know it keeps the nendroid paint all safe and things like that when he is in transit but this is my boy right here definitely do not like him without his uh his little jacket on so let's go ahead and put that blazer back on you because my boy you kind of drippy with it oh so the, you can't pose him like unless there's some other oh i like that so the way you take the cape off because i you, i'm not the cape or the jacket whatever it's called blazer whatever you want to call it so basically this is something rare for me that i never really seen in the android but i don't i also don't have that many androids either but right here you stick this little part into right here 
and there's an opening right here that way you can put the base like a little connector stand right there connected to the back of this that way it connects to the Nendroid. that's pretty fire not gonna lie but right here is the yugi uh yami yugi dendroid right here which looks pretty dope i definitely like his hair his hair is probably the most signature thing about him um obviously this little cape form is trying to be like in a little dynamic pose but yeah you, you guys know that i gotta put his little i gotta put his jewelry on i gotta put the ice on my boy went straight to johnny dang to get this bad boy now how do i put this on uh well just figured out how to put it on basically what you do is we're gonna decapitate my boy boom Put it around, put it around his neck, some. You know what I'm saying? That way he can have some ice around his neck, because you know the girls be liking Yugi. The girls be, man, the girls be flocking to Yugi, bro. But they be only using them for his cards. You know what I'm saying? Oh my lord, Jesus! All right, so we got this bad boy on him right now. It took a little while for me to get around him, but it is on this bad boy, nice and snug. Got to make sure that the head is on real right. But let's go ahead and actually take the hair. Oh my lord! Today is just not my day with androids. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and let me see how to take the face off because. This is a really weird contraption for his face, especially since I've, ah, this is it right here. Okay, so right here is where it lifts up right here to where it separates and boom, this little yellow piece. This looks weird. My boy looks weird. We are never ever gonna speak of this anybody, but let's go ahead and change his face plate out. Right here is the angry one, right when he's about to serve you up, like when he did Kaiba, when he sent out that Exodia on my boy, which I don't think Kaiba really deserved that, but I think Kaiba really did deserve that, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> But oh my lord, everything is falling off. But right here, we got this angry face right here. And we got this little smug face right here. Let's go ahead and test that bad boy on right now real quick. And the faces come on pretty easily. The faces actually feel pretty comfortable in these hair pieces right here. They were a little hard to put on, but that's all right because we are men. But let's go ahead and put this bad boy on as well. That's pretty dope. I know my boy only got like one arm right now, but... Y'all get the picture. Y'all get the point. And yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to put him in like an angry face because usually my boy Yami has an angry face, especially when he's playing with his cards. But let's go ahead and actually switch out uh, an arm and put that dual disc on him because this dual disc looks pretty dope to put on him. Uh, this came loose too. All right, so I kind of configured him a little bit off screen, obviously, but right here we got my boy kind of configured. We had to put the little drippy cape on, you know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody iced out like my boy Yugi right here, especially with this uh, Millennium Puzzle right there. And I did put the dual disc on him, which was fairly easy. All this is a little clamp that goes on basically any arm piece. I definitely wouldn't put it on an arm piece though, where he has his cards. So obviously you got to put it on his left arm right there because his right hand is usually used to draw the cards. And also, definitely like the way that this chain is swinging too. They only have a little bit of articulation in the legs, only right there just where the legs and the um the little pelvis joint right here and also some of these uh hand movements obviously are made for certain movements like in this one you can actually hold the millennium puzzle in this one i'm not going to do that because well the millennium puzzle looks definitely better on his neck than it does on his hand but let's go ahead and change out another arm piece these arm pieces actually fit real snug i, re I really feel comfortable with these arm pieces definitely feel comfortable to put this on the display and right here oh, but this falls off so easily but right here we have another uh, arm piece where you can put the hand, the card in. Oh, no. Actually, the card comes out, which is pretty dope. That's pretty dope. But you have this little piece right here where you can put the card in, which looks dope. Looks like he's drawing a card. He's about to play the biggest card. He's about to he's about to play the biggest card that's going to be the hardest flex in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. But let's go ahead and take this out right here. I might actually keep him with that. Or I might keep him with this one because this one's actually pretty dope as well. But let me go ahead and get this hand piece first. And we got this card. Wait, why is this right? Uh, hmm? All right, guys, so fair warning, um, a lot of these cards do come out, so you definitely don't want to lose these cards, but let's go ahead and put these three cards right here, and oh, yeah, I like that. I definitely like that, especially, can we articulate the hand, too? Oh, yeah, I like that, even though it's like a little black piece, but I definitely like that. That would have been super dope, even though I'm not knocking them for this, because these are some tiny little accessories. That would have been super dope to put some monsters on there, like, you know, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, and uh, Black Eyes, Red Dragon, Black Eyes, I mean, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, but this is pretty dope. I really like this. Looks like he's about to, he got the cards, he got the little deck right here, he also got the ice on his neck, and we put the little cape on. This is super dope. Now, you guys know that we definitely got to get some dope poses with this bad boy. Like, look at him! And also, guys, I did want to mention that you can pose this right here as well. Um, I really don't feel a need to pose this, but I mean, I guess that's a cool function that you can pose this. And let me show you the base stand real quick. 
where you can't actually unwrap it and connect it like I was uh, trying to tell y'all earlier, earlier, but in case you guys, some of you guys don't know how Nendroids and things like that work. Um, usually with Nendroids, you get an extra neck piece, which we really don't need right now. But right here is uh, the, the, uh, the little thing that connects into them. And you screw this off, right? And then you put him on here with this. That way you can pose him. And then you put my boy on the base stand like that, which is super dope. But now let's get this bad boy into some dope poses. That way I can show you guys how my boy Yami Yugi flexes on everybody that gets in his way, like American Seto Kaiba. So let's go. All right, guys, time to give you my final thoughts on this Nendroid. And I got to say, I am pleased with this Nendroid. While there is no articulation within the arms or the legs itself, it does. It, it's satisfying. I'll give it that. It is satisfying, especially for such an older anime getting a Nendroid. Now, I know this isn't the oldest anime that uh, Good Smile has produced in Nendroid form. But I will say that I feel like this series was one that was left in the past but I do like it. All the features I do like about it are the cards, you being able to put the cards in hand, either it be three cards or one card, which is super dope. The Millennium Puzzle actually being a chain piece where you can actually put it in his hand, let his hand hold it, and the fact that they put the dual disc on him. I know it's really popular, especially within that part of the anime of Yu-Gi-Oh, where they uh, go into like Duelist Kingdom or whatever it's called when they fight Merrick as like the final boss but i think that this is pretty dope especially uh the fact that the dual disc could kind of articulate just a little bit i think that's a pretty dope feature as usual you can switch out these hand pieces to put different hand pieces on like uh him having a ball of fist him, him having a hand kind of opened therefore it could hold the, either the chain right here or it could hold one of his cards and i gotta say that i really like the fact that his uh, jacket is kind of in a dynamic pose now i kind of wish that we could have had his jacket just sitting down regularly like it usually does in the anime and it just articulate just like Jotaro's jacket does within the Jojo Nendroid. But I got to say, I'm really not going to really complain about this one. This gives a dynamic pose, especially in the way I got a pose like this. This is probably how I'm going to have him on my shelf. Hopefully I get some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! manga real soon on a really good deal. But that's it about that's about it for the Nendroid review, guys. Also, the one thing I do have that's just a small little problem is the fact that this doesn't really stay in securely. Now, it does stay in for the most part, but if I move it around too much like I'm doing right now, it does come out frequently, which I have to push it right back in. But I think this is super dope. I think this is a pretty good Nendroid, um, especially for 20 bucks really can't beat that price especially for an android which is like a more higher quality figure but let me know what you think about this number down below let me know what you think about Yu-Gi-Oh. in fact let me know your favorite card or your favorite character from Yu-Gi-Oh. i gotta say thank you guys for watching if you're new to the channel you haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell and i hope everybody has already hit that like button but if you haven't dark sage is here to remind you to hit it again but i gotta say thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace